hopefully it's something I can make, quickly make, so I can head home. I want two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra tip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. <laughs> Finn here and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play Sayori Gets a Burger. Now this one is made by Team Sapphire, a new DDLC mod dev team that got recently announced a few months ago I think last year, I'm not entirely sure. But hey, new mod teams are always welcome because I'm really looking forward to see more of their stuff. And this one is really interesting, I'm not sure what it is really, I'm pretty sure. So you already just wants a burger and all that stuff, but hey, we'll see about that in today's video. So you guys know the drill, it's Doki, Doki time. Alright, Sayori gets a Borgar. Team Sapphire, a <laughs> nice Sega style logo there. This, peep this game is not suitable for people who forgot to eat lunch, I haven't, but I'll eat later. Ah, another beautiful day. I wonder what I'll do today. Wait, hold on. Let's fix that real quick. Boop, boop. There we go. After some time, Sayori slowly got up out of bed. Glancing at a nearby clock, she checked the time. 12.58 p.m. Hmm. <laughs> good thing today's a Saturday. Yup. Saturdays are always good. Heading downstairs, Sayori instantly made a beeline for the fr refrigerator. Alright, time for some munchies. Upon reaching the fridge door, she not so gently threw said door open. So, let's see what we... Uh, 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 did, did I ever get to go to the store again? She closed the fridge and checked a small notepad she had taped to the right side. The note read, Please go buy groceries, me. Aw oh man, not again. Well, it's okay, I guess. No need to worry just yet. A loud rumble was then instantly heard. Okay, scratch that. Uh, guess I'll just need to go out for food today. I really do need to get groceries though. Uh, well, I can do it another time. Sayori, 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 food is good. But please, buy yourself some groceries, don't be a lazy butt. So, where should I go? Sayori pondered to herself for a moment. Hmm, can't do Sonoris, cost too much. Nep's pizza might be good, but it's kind of, uh, kind of too far off to walk. Sayori then glanced at something resting on the table. Intrigued, she walked over and picked up the object. It was a coupon. Hmm, the functional burger? Ooh, I can get a free meal with this coupon. Oh goody! Don't worry, Tommy, you'll be full in no time. Ah. I could imagine this mod is like her small little adventure, like adventure time with Sayori or something. <laughs> I'm just saying though, because so far so good, this is just so cute. Because really, look at her, she's just so you. And with so, with a hearty giggle, Sayori quickly rushed out of her home, coupon in hand. About 10 minutes after leaving her home, she came to a screeching halt. Wait, what am I doing? I can go out dressed like this. Oh, quick as a wink, Sayori quickly dashed back to her home. Three minutes and 20 sec 27 seconds later, she walked back out, this time dressed more appropriately for the occasion. Ah, uh, much better. Oh! Wow, this is a good look for her, and I really like the, uh, the her top straps are, you know, exposed and even her shoulders. I'm just saying, that's a good look for her. Okay, I like it. Ah, uh, much better. Alright, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Upon entering the restaurant, Sayori noted how spick and span the place looks for being a fast food chain. Said noting was quickly dispelled as soon as she noticed the menu. 
Wow. It was quite an intimidating selection to choose from. She seemed unsure on how to go about choosing something to order. Hello, ma'am. May I take mind if I take your order? Oh, hey, hey, sorry. I was just looking at the menu. It's so hard to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No worries. I'll ring you up when you're ready. All right. All right. Thanks, mister. No problem. One hour passed. Er, uh, ma'am, were you able to find anything? Nope, I'm still trying to decide. Really? Just still looking for the food you need? Alright then, just checking. Another two hours passed. Ma'am, you should probably make a decision soon. Don't worry, I think I've almost got it. If you say so. Another three hours passed. Interestingly, no one else entered the store during the time Sayori took to choose. Ma'am, please, it's nearly closing time. My wife and kids are starting to worry about me. Alright, I've decided. Whew, great. Hopefully it's something I can make, quickly make, so I can head home. I, I want two number, number nines, nine. a number, number nine, nine large, large, a number, a six, number six with extra tip, tip, a number, a number seven, seven Two number 45, one with one cheese, with cheese. <laughs> like, so Sayori, did you just... <laughs> Sayori, did you just... Did you just take a... Did you just take a page out of... Out of Big Smoke's book? What the f... <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? I mean, as long as this place is a clock and bell, then I guess so. Are you serious? <laughs> Even the food guy knows that this uh, this cinnamon bun just took a page out of Big Smoke. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay then. That will cost you about... Oh, no need to do that. I brought a coupon with me, see? Sayori gave the coupon to the food guy. As he read it, his face slowly turned pale. All that food, for, mo for no money. <laughs> Alright, just wait here while I go make your order. Alright, thanks a bunch! Sayori happily skipped to the delivery line area. Still pale-faced, the food guy slowly turned around and went to the kitchen. <laughs> uh... About a half an hour later, the worn-out food guy returned, carrying a large bag. Sayori looked extremely famished. Well, here you go, miss. Oh, thank goodness. I was so getting hungry. Sayori grabbed the bag and quickly dashed out of the store. The man did nothing but stare blankly as she ran off. <laughs> she just ran off to like freaking supersonic speed like Sonic the Hedgehog. After about two minutes, Sayori finally turned returned home with Big Smoke's order. Ah, uh, yes. Finally, my hunger can be saturated. Er, uh, I mean, satiated. <laughs> Sayori walked over to the table and unpacked all of her food from the bag. Let's see, which will I eat first? Ooh, no deciding this time, I'll just have whatever. So saying, Sayori grabbed the nearest item, number 9 large. Opening the package, she gasped at hash as she saw what the box contained. A large burger piled with generous amounts of lettuce and tomato, a thick side of cheddar cheese, and plenty of ketchup all atop a juicy, savory beef patty grilled to perfection. The mere sight of it alone made, me sa made Sayori drool. Gah. After snapping out of her stopper, she noticed a small message on the inside lid. It read, Remember that you are loved as much as you're gonna love how this tastes. Sayori squealed with delight. Aww, how cute! Aww, <laughs> my god, that's... She's so foo! Well, I love you too, Mr. Burger. 
Sayori happily pats the burger. Aww. Aww, gosh. Dang it! The burger does nothing. And to prove I mean what I say, I will now proceed to shove you violently down my th- Oh. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna eat the burger and definitely not something else in her mouth. Shut up. But that Sayori quickly grabbed the burger and began to eat it aggressively. Oh, this looks like what? <laughs> something like. <laughs> While it is not certain, the burger ha seemed to have shrieked silently, slightly during the process. After the rather interesting display, the burger was no more, and Sayori remained licking the remnants of ketchup off her now pinkish red lips. Mmm. Mmm, yum, yum. Good stuff. Now, what should I eat next? The cycle continued for the next hour or so. Two other burgers, a beef wrap, three chicken sandwiches, six packs of fries, and a large soda all met a hunger-driven fate. Oh man, this... Honestly, this mod is really making me hungry. I should definitely eat after this. The end of it all, discarded packaging lay everywhere on the table. Sayori's stomach made one last faint rumble before going silent. Her hunger was justified, was satisfied. Uh, maybe I should go to the store less often? Not a bad idea to consider. <laughs> as long as you have the coupon, that's fine by you, Sayori. And with that, Sayori headed back upstairs, changed into her pajamas, brushed her teeth, and went to sleep. Finishing that last line, I recapped my pen and set it off to the side. Heh, <laughs> good thing I had that coupon on hand, huh? I look outside at the window leading to Sayori's room. Sadly, tonight seems to be overcast as no visibility inside is possible. Hmm. I quickly look over at my monitors. Same thing with the other three. Is the moon not out? Ah, whatever. I'm sure they can go for one night without me keeping an eye on them. Just one night. Perhaps I'm doing too much for these four. I ponder on this for a while. Uh, no. If anything, I'm not doing enough. I promised I would do anything for them, and I'm sticking to that promise. They deserve... They deserve everything. Especially Sayori. My mind drifts to Sayori. All those fun memories, and all the potential she showed. Shaking them away for a while while I <laughs> I slowly get up from my desk and resign myself to my bed. Closing my eyes, I utter my last lines for today. I promise we will all be together. Forever. What? Okay, that's um... This is something. <laughs> and just end up with the burp. Alright. That's... Oh, and the mod ended. Well, uh, that's uh, Sayori wants a burger for you. <laughs> very cute, very wholesome, and man, this mod is really making me hungry. Well, speaking of hungry, good thing I ordered myself a McDonald's burger, so uh, I'm just gonna go eat this burger because, man, I am so hungry. Team Sapphire, looking forward to more of your works. But um, yeah, um, uh, stay awesome, fellow knights. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.